Arbo, your first title shot was last year at APOC. This is my first title shot too. Right here tonight, I'm going to do what you did last year. I got nothing more to say because my actions will speak louder than words ever could. The main event of Apocalypse 2011, the Four Corner Post Massacre match. Troy Garber defends the WAW Championship against Michael James. Take it to Mr. Labrie. Are you ready, Mr. Bishop? I am ready. Main event time. Oh, hell yeah. Tonight's main event for the WAW Championship. The will be decided as a four corner massacre match. Objects that will be found in bags located in the four corners can be used as weapons. Entering first, the challenger, Heli from Boston, Massachusetts, the natural born killer, Michael James! New team, evidently, the natural born killer, Michael James. Now, you got to look at this. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is a former friend, a former teammate of our current champion. Now ready to dismantle him. Well, you saw backstage, a little bit more methodical. He understands, he's a little bit more in tune with his violent self. More yeah. calm, not screaming, not getting up in your face. The fact is, he's a little bit more methodical, a little bit more calm. And that's a Michael James I think you have to worry about. I do agree because, again, this is where he has an advantage over most who go against Trabo don't have. He knows them. A lot has changed change between these men. Their paths have diverged. They've gone down different roads, but still, end of the day, they know each other better than anybody. This is the Emperor versus the Upstart. What this is is pretty... Well, hold on. Pete got something to say. And now about you to the ring, the WAW champion, paid from Mobile, Alabama. He's the good old boy, Troy Gumbo! Troy Garber, our champion sport, a new do. What the hell? Did someone piss in your hair? But as Michael James, as vicious, as methodical as you say he is, he still has to go through this man. And I'm going to say something here. How many title defenses has Troy had? Um, let's see. A lot. A lot. He is a defending champion. At my last count, nine defenses. How many does Zeno Diomedes have? About 13. How many does FO have? Or sorry, Christini have? 12 or 11. So you know what? We got a fighting champion here. And if Michael James thinks whatever's in this badge is going to do any, any good, he ain't thinking straight. Well, the fact is, this is our main event. Not only are you fighting for the WAW Championship, and you know what? Either men might walk out with a belt, Troy Goblin might retain, Michael James might win. But they have a daunting task in two weeks. They fight a man who I personally endorse, who is basically can bring a renaissance to WAW of sorts. The unequal one, the spray tan Superman, a champion everywhere he's been, including WAW. You want an unequal man? Look no further than Todd Sopel. Whoever wins tonight goes to Newton, Massachusetts to fight the one and only unequaled one in the main event. Well, this main event's got to get underway. We're waiting for the... Uh, this is oh, this was Michael James's idea, huh? I think. Smokey, this was your master idea. Putting Red Guy to work. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. What do you got in there anyway? It sounds like a bag full of change. <laughs> he's just gonna throw quarters at you. I think he's got his week's pay in that bag. Yeah, he's gonna. <laughs> All right. I hope you got a sandwich in one of those bags. We're getting freaking hungry over here. <laughs> sure. Leave it like that. I don't. I don't care. You think it's change? 
If there's money in there, I give it to you, all right? I'll give you half. What a champion. <laughs> what a generous, yeah. what a generous champion. I'll go to Taco Bell after. I'm telling you that's for, that's for real. That's for real. Troy, champ. He doesn't listen to people like you. All right. Oh my God, you're making pizza free work too? Champ, champ, I got a question for you. From a commentator of the champ. What the hell happened to your hair, champ? Awesome. That's not awesome. All right. This is not. This is not. This is not. This is not. You don't know anything about it, so until you do, I suggest you shut them up. This is in the 70s. It's not the 80s. You're not Flair. You're not Dusty Rhodes. You look like a fool, champ. You look like a damn fool. You look worse than your old partner. If I get stuck behind you at Taco Bell again, I'm getting out of the car and I'm smashing your damn taillights. Hurry up, pick your food, buy it. I'm very picky about what I eat. Are we ready to rock? Are you guys ready to rock? They have very good gorditas so there. Have been for this for a oh. I carried you a bunch of and now you want me to carry your sweater? <laughs> All right, buddy. I've been waiting to kick your ass for a long time. You just hold on there, tough guy. Can you? T- Thanks. Well, you know what? All the talking's done. Maybe they can shut their mouths and we can get to the match at hand, baby. All right, now this is Smokey James's idea, a four-corner massacre match. Every single one of those bags contains a weapon, only he knows what it is, and you got to get it off that pole to use it. And again, as you've said, Chaz, he's got a little bit more methodical. I cannot imagine what twisted, what his twisted imagination has come up with to try to hurt his former friend, his former team member. I'm a little uh, curious myself, I won't lie. That's not the only thing little about you, is it, Chaz? Well, besides my patience dealing with you, Mr. Bishop, I guess not. Now, the fact is we got a main event here, and you can keep the jokes if someone's actually good at them, like myself. I'm going to ask the fans one of these days which of us is better at the jokes. I think you'll find the answer quite enlightening. Well, Smokey James, as I've said, the emperor and the upstart, the best of the best, the cream of WAW's crop, and the wannabe, the, the wish he was, the could have been. You know, you think, about, you think about these two men, former team champions, starting at the same point. Garbo, what's he done? He's hit the pinnacle. What's Smokey done? He's fought with his girlfriend. Former fiance, it's not his fault he got dropped on his head and all the chances went out the window. But this is exactly what these two men said is going to be a brawl right there. Rights and lefts and punches and kicks. They don't expect an Irish whip. Don't expect a backbreaker or some fancy, tancy wrestling move. Oh, well, that was pretty fancy. Getting a boot to the mush from behind and incoming. Oh, oh. fancy about that. They're trying to go for that weapon right away. Up and over goes Troy Garbo in a big punch. Chop, chop. Oh. Ciao. Oh. Question is, I mean, if you want an educated man, you'd be kind of hard to tell which one is which, both wearing right, both running through the rings like friggin' lightning. Well, again, these men want to do damage. They want to hurt each other. They want to put this feud to rest to see which is the best. Wait a minute, hold this on. This is vintage WA Dub Bulldog out of the court. Whoa! Oh, worst. No tribute to Chateau Bannigan tonight. That's what I'm going to call that move That's from now okay. on. I'm the st- tribute to Chateau Bannigan. I'm gonna be bon- Bones! I'm gonna- Bones! Maybe Bones! going to be buying Ch- Chats a uh, six pack of Guinness later. Man works hard. And here we go off the ropes. Reversal. Garbo off the ropes. That's the clothesline. A momentum going. Oh, big flying back elbow. Chats of is getting kind of pissed because I pissed in his Cheerios this morning and he ate it. It's awesome. What? Yeah, I pissed in his Cheerios. Okay, back to the match, Chaz. What? It was funny. Back to the match. Watch Channel Focus 80 Proof News. Focus You'll see a beautiful, Pinky. beautiful video oh. with Chad Epic interviewing The only video I'm interested in right now is Troy Garbo. That one with Mooney Star and Stalina? We are talking about that one. All right, let's uh, go back to the main event of apoc- uh, yeah, Apocalypse. Unequal in a few weeks, but whenever this match takes on Todd Sopel, the former WAW champion in the main event. The guy has been all over New England. Every oh, place he's sure. gone, he's won championships. And you know what? To win the WAW championship again from either Mr. Frog. James, up and over, down and under, big oh. half kick, or Mr. James or Troy Garbo, I think would bring a renaissance to WAW. We'll restart this company and bring it back to the glory days before Four guys like Troy Garbo had the belt. I'm and we're sorry. What is, what is wrong with Troy Garbo having the belt? Well, that's the first weapon. Looks to be a steel chain. Oh, dear. Oh, oh this is the big it. fist. Big boot here. Now they're fighting over it. Oh, this no. ain't a uh, chain match, but... 
Now oh, we're about to link together this whole chain of events. Really? And incoming. Oh, get oh. over here. Big Larry with the chain. Good Mortal Kombat reference, Chaz. I'm going to give you that one. It's a, you know what? It's vintage WAW. If there's a chain, you got to call it. WAW? Okay. No, no, no. Vintage. Well, <laughs> wait a minute. Slingshot. Here we go. Elbow again. I got to say vintage one more time, so it's three. Yeah, you are vintage, Chaz. <laughs> Did I tell you I love Michael Cole? He's a good fan Did of I mine. Tell you how he much, follows me on Twitter. Did I tell you you love yourself? And oh, Mrs. Twice Elbow. Twice a night, sometimes three on Sunday. I don't want to know what get you back and to Michael the Cole do. And to I Bravo now, good for choked it. out. <laughs> we got a match going on. I'm going to shut up. No, I'm not going to call the do. match. Garbo's getting choked. He tapped. I saw it right there. That was that a was tap. That was not a tap. He tapped that this match. The over tap. Michael James is our champion. No, no. That was a tap. Oh, you see that. You don't. Never mind. That was a tap. We're no. red guy. Everyone in these fans saw it. Well, that was a tap. What these fans see is their champion in a bad spot. Chin for him. Trying to get him fired up. And Michael James still working that punishment and got him in the ropes now. And oh, God. And whoa. Oh, come on. Using that chain like a cheese grater. No. That works. Oh, God. Well, the fact is, I mean, it's so pins, there's submissions in this match, but anything goes. Not just the weapons in the bag. Those are extremely important. All right? It's not like a trick-or-treat. All right? Or it's not like a certain type of match. We can open all the boxes. Off the ropes incoming. Michael James. Oh, oh God. Catches him across the neck or the back of the head. And I can't help but notice Michael James' hand is all taped up, or arm. I'm a bit concerned about that. What is arm? Why? All right. <laughs> The fact sorry, is, did you see what he did to Delilah? Did yes, you see what he did awesome. to Garbo? Yes, it was great. I also saw what he did to his own flesh and blood, his brother. All right, he beat the living hell out of his brother and sent him to the hospital. It was great. It was fantastic. You're a sick, sad individual. I'm Chaz. not sad. I'm a little sick in the head. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, Mr. Bishop, especially in this industry. I'm not going to argue that point. You got to get oh, sick in my head. In the face. Michael James now working on Garbo. Oh, Trey Garbo. Doing more damage. It's bloody. Oh, wait a minute. Garbo, though, fighting back. Garbo's busted open. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tries to go for Alabama. Alabama. Nope. Michael James fights out. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go into the corner again. These two men, they know each other so well. The counters, how to work together, how to work against each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait a wait minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, down on his head. Catching on the top rope. Troy Gara busting out. Busted open right now. The Crimson Mask is dripping into his eyes. That's going to make the champion a little bit weary about defending his belt tonight when seeing red tonight. Well, I, can't I can only hope that he has something left for, un for unequaled where he will face Todd Sopel. If he defends successfully tonight, of what course. if? Uh, yeah, there we go. Proving my point. Michael James. Oh, wait a minute. Flip oh. the top rope. A sunset flip power bomb. Beautifully executed by Troy Garbo. Yeah, like, I, like I've said, Troy Garbo, over since his time in Buds and Suds, has been honing his craft. He has been getting better and better with each opponent, each victory, each match. Smokey James, what's he been doing? What's he been doing? He's been picking on his girlfriend. He's winning his Annihilation and main eventing Apocalypse. With help, I might add. And off the oh, ropes, big elbow. You know, in two weeks, even if uh, Todd Sopo, say, does win the WAW Championship from one of these two men, He'll have to come to WAW at our most violent event of the year, Hellbound. Hellbound. And in the main event, he will stand across the ring with the raging demon Carnage. Now that would be a match for the ages. Oh, wait a minute. And Garbo now. Garbo has. What has he got? He actually does have money. Money? Money. Are you kidding? It, it, it's money. It was with a stapler. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh boy, it is payday, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting myself a Twinkie when I watch this one. Are you watching this? I, I, I'm just having a little Where snack. do you keep getting these Twinkies? Give me one. No. I will cut you. You wish. Speaking of cut, 
Smokey James is getting a $1 bill <laughs> stapled to his head. Oh, you know, it's moments like this. You know, WAW used to have something called the stapler match. The whole point was to climb the ladder, oh. grab the golden stapler that was atop of the ladder, and staple a $1 bill to your opponent's head to win. Is that where Joey Staples got his name? No, actually. That was Joey Staples' signature match. Ah. He was forced in it by Dirty Dealer. You never let someone like Dirty Dealer control your contract. No, Trust me on that not. one. One more time. He lied. He said he'd split it with the fans. And one more. Here we go. Oh. oh. I love my job. You know, the pay sucks. The hours are terrible. My bosses, and you know what. But it is moments like this seeing Michael James, who for so long has done nothing but terrorize and intimidate people, get a little bit of his own medicine. He's never stapled someone in the He's face. He's let people on fire. So what? He has let people on fire. That's completely different He's than stapling someone in the head. No, no. He's completely let people on fire. Give me that Twinkie. Hey, no, give me that back. You jerk. You stole my Twinkie. I did steal your Twinkie, and it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. This is vintage WA Dub out of the corner. Bulldog. The of oh. from you Bulldog right there out of the corner. That's it. That's right. That's Stick what we're up calling it. Stick up working it. One, One two. two. No. Kicks out at two. Of Troy Garbo now. He's got, he knows that he's going to take a little bit more of the takedown. Michael James just staples in all. And oh, to the bread basket. I oh. think that was actually to the balls. Can we say balls at WAW Apocalypse? Considering you just did? I'm actually being told I can't say the word balls. I'm sorry if I offend anyone with the word balls. So what are you going to use instead? Balls? Yeah, figured. Michael James now in the advantage. And oh, DDT. DDT in the middle. <laughs> Here we go, one, no, two, no, hey, there we go. That's a kick out right there if you didn't see it at home. Fighting champion. We don't have instant replay, but kick the rewind button and see it again. Oh. Well, you know what, maybe the editing man will actually listen to me for once. Let's see it one more time. Oh. That was amazing, folks. Vicious kicks to the back. Those are pretty vicious. Last time I saw that. Oh, attack. right to the face. Shades Into of the bush. Lambo. You know what I just saw? I saw Troy Garbo's tooth on the mat. You can actually see it right there from the announcer's table. Two. See that no. one speck? That's a tooth from friggin' Michael James kicking Troy Garbo, our champion. That's the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth. God, I hate you, Mr. Bishop. I hate <laughs> you so much. Uh, it's the little things in life. And uh, Michael James working on Troy Garbo. Still got the advantage, but again, he's got to put those shoulders to the mat. He's got to get him to tap or use one of those things in the bags. If he wants what to win the we championship. Got the stapler was in one bag, the, yep, the chain, chain was in the other. We still got two more to go. And I think we missed the bag. Working Troy Garbo into each turnbuckle. That right there is called the Stairmaster. Going from top to bottom. Troy Garbo wishes you on an escalator. A lot easier on the way down. And now, oh, God. Oh, paintbrush and Troy Garbo. You know, I made fun of Troy Garber's haircut earlier, but you know, it's really showing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh it's a running my paintbrush. God. <laughs> Took it. Bless you, Chad. Excuse me, that was a Twinkie. Oh. It was delicious. One, two, no, three, yes. What? He kicked out. Oh, he come on. Out. That was three red. That was not That was three, three red guy. No, was not that three. was three. No, it wasn't. Learn to count. Three. Thank you. That was three. Now out of the ring goes Troy Garbo. The hard way. You know, oh, like no. I was saying, his blonde, bleach blonde hair like the moron you see in the front row. All right. Is a la Dusty Rhodes, a la Ric Flair's playing respect to the legends of the past. I like that moron sitting in the front row right there. I mean, look at him. He handed Moody Star a goddamn present and friggin' said you can't sell his book. Oh, he owes Chad, me 25. Chad, Chad. Um, I got wood. No, no, I'm sorry. Mr. James Mr. got wood. Mr. James got wood. That's a table. That is a table. That's, oh boy. Technically, that wasn't in a bag. I'm not too sure about yeah. the rules, but I think it's legal. Um, no Man's Land counting a match like this? I. He's spending we're gonna too find much. Out. Oh, chop to the nipple. Oh, chop God. to the other nipple. Hold on. Brutal no, reversal on brutality. No. Troy Garbo eats brick. Oh, big, wow, big fist. Oh, no. 151 proof Troy Garbo goes down. Maybe should have went up to 152. We might have actually oh. stood a chance tonight. Troy Garbo now taking abuse. 
Like I and, said, this oh, is no. the main event apocalypse, a huge night tonight. But in two weeks in Newton, Massachusetts, it's going to be unequaled. The Pure title will be on the line. The Vixens title will be on the line. The team titles, Fresh Money versus the Firebirds. And, of course, whoever wins this match will be taking on Troy Garbo. Michael James versus one or the other will verse Todd Sopel in the main event. You'll also see the likes of Devin Storm and his partner, the oh, man who man. the tag team known oh, no. as the Minutemen. Oh no. Oh no. 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 What? No. Yes. No. no. He's up no. top. Troy oh, Garbo. My God. No, Troy Garbo getting out of the way. Oh. Showing a little bit of smarts there. And if I'm correct, Michael James. Red guy is bleeding a little bit himself as well from the looks of it. No, he's wearing a red shirt. No, look at his head. Red guy is actually dripping blood. From his ear. Well, forget, I'm not sure how that red guy bleeding. Garbo's going to make Michael James bleed, backing him around with that table. And I think Garbo's got an idea of his own. Oh, no. What is now Troy Garbo guts wood? That's something I never wanted to announce in my career. I was career. about to say, I'm amazed you even were willing to say that. We've been with all that alcohol, but the fact is right here, this is all what it's about. It's for the WAW Championship. You walk home with 25 extra pounds in your bag, or you walk home with disappointment in your heart. One or the other. It can't be both. And we're going to find out who it is. Troy Garbo setting up here. Up over another elbow. And this heat is not making anything any better. We, of course, have Hurricane and Irene fast approaching. These two men are putting each other through literal hell, through a literal doomsday. Up. Oh, oh, no, oh, wait a suplex, minute. Suplex, but blocked with the knee to the face. Oh, wait a minute. Michael James hitting the reverse STO. One, One two. two. Nope. Nope. The HCP, here comes the pain by Michael James. Uh, that was yeah, two. That's smart there, there, guy. That's smart. Get in the ref's face, slap him, get disqualified, lose your title shot. It's no disqualification. And the fact is, Michael James, as this match goes on, and Troy Garber keeps getting kicked out, Red Guy's life gets a little bit more threatened. Michael James is getting a little testy with Red Guy. Not really Red Guy's fault. The Troy oh! goes downstairs. Up over Alabama, slam a set up. No, wait a minute. Michael James reverses. Big knees into the chest. Oh, what's he got on his twisted mind? Up over. Wait a there minute. There it is. Wait. No. Garbo Thanks. trying to fight his way out of it. And Michael James tying him up, twisting him up. Oh, and that beautiful double arms locked in with the crippler in. Modified octopus on the ground, completely stretching him out. And Troy Garbo fighting his eyes. Wait a minute, it. one, two. Oh, had to let go two, of the move. Two and three quarters. The dreadlock stretch, pretty much what that was. Locking him in just like the braids on his hair. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 come on. Come on, Michael James. You take him out, you don't get anybody to count. do the count. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. minute. Smoke out on Red Guy. Oh, come on. That ah, genius. Oh, he just stuck out the ref. How is he going to win now? Yeah, two brain cells short a pair at this point. Okay, we're in a WAW main event of Apocalypse 2011. We don't have a referee. And what, what is referee he Referee just got hit with Here Comes the Pain. That's what? not the challenger. Hey, stop. Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. Dirty dealer? I got I got the ref right here. Come on, uh, get back in the ring, come on. All right, Mass Ref taking over, but Dirty Dealer, what's he doing here? A Dirty Dealer, you gotta think of the history with Troy Garo when he was president. What, what is Michael J? Michael oh, no. James is setting our ref a red guy, our senior official. No, no. At, what? Dirty Dealer choking out. Choking out red guy, and the Mass Referee saying nothing. Whoa! Oh no, no! Michael J, no. what are you doing? No! no. God. Red guy! Oh he killed my God. red guy! You cannot believe this! Dude, go ch check on him. Oh my God, hold on, hold on, hold on. Check on him. Yeah. Look at that. 
Ser no, seriously, you need to... What? Wait a minute, Alabama slammer in the middle of the ring. Two, three, oh, excuse me, two, that was a kick out. Mass referee not fast enough there. Red guy is bleeding from the skull. The fact is, this is the main event of Apocalypse. They're fighting not only for the WAW Championship, but who's going to fight Todd Sopel and Unequaled? I'm out here doing what I do best, and that's calling the action by myself. And wait a minute. Troy Garber up on the top rope, misses the big elbow drop from the top rope. Red guy being a company down. Right. Is he okay? He's, 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 he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. All right. He's checking. He's being checked over right now by the by paramedics. But oh my God! We got the last. You missed nothing. We uh, Alabama slammer right there. The mass referee, and that's lighter fluid in the hand of Mr. James. Oh, oh no, wait a no, minute. No. No, not again. What do you mean not again? He almost blinded him. Oh, he ducks it that time. It goes out. But that might have cost him. He burned his own arm that time. Big suplex in the center of the ring. And this could be it. Mass ref. One, two. Mr. James kicks out. Oh, my God. I'm, I, I'm not even. I'm speechless. Red I'm guy speechless. has been sent on bombed through a table. This he man was, better lose this. What do you mean? He's been, been, he does not deserve to be a champion taking out the official. What you You're that? kidding me? The senior. You are going to sit there and say to me that a man who takes out the official does that to a man are you deserves the to hold that child. If title. you were the official, I would say yes. But Garbo, fighting to his feet. Hold on. Well, the fact is. He might get a little taste of his own medicine. Oh! Low yeah, blow. Another low blow. Troy Garber isn't going to be able to rep reproduce after this match. Not saying that's really a bad thing given Troy Garbo and his family oh, no, heritage. Oh, no, He's going go for it again. And, oh! Oh, come on! Wait a minute. One. One. Two. No! Kick out at two again, Mr. Bishop. I can't believe that. I cannot either. You've got to be kidding me. Our champion fighting for his life, fighting for his body, his soul, his sanity. What has he got left in there? But one more bag. Michael James has one more trick up his sleeve. and oh. Well, one more trick on the pole, whatever it may be. The flaming fist didn't work. What is the final bag? And hold on! Oh! Low blow by Troy Garbo. Garbo. He's in the odds. favor. What does he have in his hand? What, what is it? Yeah, see, I'm saying you want what's in there. What is it? I don't know. I can't see. What? What is it? I don't know. Why do you keep asking me? Michael James getting locked in. Wait a minute. Dump handle. Dump handle on oh. what is in the bag. And And these fans behind Garbo, Smokey James, excuse me, Mr. Michael James is a little out of it. Those are thumbtacks. Those are thumbtacks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Smokey is bleeding from his fist, his head, and what is D Dirty Dealers out here making a mockery of this match right now? He had nothing to do with Mr. James. A little bit of history. Well, the fact is, I'm sorry. Let me think about this. I'm sorry, did not, did, did, did not screw Troy Garbo at Exodus? No, he did, but the fact is, oh my wait God. a minute. Alabama Slammer! Oh, Alabama Slammer! Oh, my God. Well, the fact is, Dirty Dealer has a champ. Oh, 
One, two, three! There it is, ladies and gentlemen! Troy Garbo has walked through all nine circles of hell! He has beaten his former friend, his former, former teammate! In his own, in a match of his own designing, Michael James set the four corner massacre matchup to get the advantage, and he still ended up losing. That is our champion, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know what? He is our champion. Notice this. Dirty Dealer still oh, has a guys, floating the, title he's shot. He's got the boo boo face on. Yeah, he got the boo boo face. You know what? He was Annihilation champion, he was on the team. It's the real champion right there. The first champion. The real champion. You and you still have a shot. Off. I think Dirty Dealer. Do you want the microphone? Alright. You want something to say? Shut, shut it off. Good job, Gabo. Give it up for Troy Gabo. Last year, last year the popular man got screwed. Didn't happen this year. No A pop. Screw job for Troy Gabo this year. Good job. Yo, I just want to say, if you don't mind, boss man, go ahead. Speed! Speed! My first main event of a special was last year, Apocalypse. Some of y'all remember this screw job. Yeah. It sucked. You would cheer for him, wouldn't you? Some of you might remember Newton, Massachusetts, the screw job. Uh, that was fair, down the line. I, I remember that. That was a good referee. I just want to say how fitting it is right that I beat Smokey in a main event. His first special main event at Apocalypse this year. Smokey, you brought me to my limit. And I'm sorry things had to go down this way. But you deserved everything you got, you asshole! Yes. All right, it's funny. It, 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 what I find interesting is you brought up Newton. You brought up Exodus. It, it, I don't know if all of you know, but in two weeks we're going to be back in Newton. You heard Sid earlier talking to Gino about it. So you're the champ now. You're the champ. Troy Babo is the champ. So he's, he's going to be at Newton. Fight. Now, do you know the name? Of this year's, of the, this month's next month show? Troy Cody Garbo, the spectacular, awesome, most amazing wrestler of all time ever in the history of planet motherfucker. Oh! Actually, Garbo, the name of our show, Newton, is called Unequaled. Say that one more time because I got a little loss of hearing this year, and I'm deaf over here in this one. I don't know if you have anything between the ears, but think about it, Garbo. On Unequal. What, what, when you say unequal, what comes to mind? Unequal. Maybe, maybe someone who's unequal. Wait a minute. What was maybe that? Somebody who's a former WAW champion. Maybe in two weeks in Newton with special guest referee Dirty Dealer. Oh, come Kurt on. Garbo will be defending his title against yeah the unequal one Todd Sobel. <laughs> what? Todd Sobel. Two weeks Newton. Bring your belt, special guest referee. Play this music again. Cause hey, have your moment, baby. Cause it's, when you come back in Manchester, you can have the belt. Top Soap can have the belt. Oh, Todd Almighty. Good Lord. Well, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Two weeks unequal. Troy Garbo is going to face Todd Sopel. Well, the fact of the matter is, Apocalypse is in the books. Team champions are still the Firebirds. Vixen's champion. Pure champion. WAW champion. Nothing changed hands tonight. The only thing different is Carnage is the number one contender at Hellbound. But on the road to Hellbound, Mr. Bishop, we in New in Massachusetts, oh, yeah. you're going to have fresh money take on the Firebirds for the team titles. You're going to have Todd Sopo in the main event, the man who's been champion everywhere he's gone, versus our WAW champion, 
Troy Garbo. The Vixens title is going to be on the line. The Pure title is going to be on the line. The Minuteman from NECW, NE, or NCW, BECW, from UFO Wrestling, all around New England, will be there. And plus so much more. But more importantly, Mr. Bishop will be there. So as always... I'm going to be your driver again. Um, right. Yes, yes you are. As always, Mr. Bishop, to see all the great action at WAWWrestling.com. Tune in on the interwebs. Check us out on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And... This is your line to cue in. I'm not going to do it just because he asked me to. However, Apocalypse is in the bag. We are ready. We are done. I, of course, am Matt Bishop. I am next to Big Mouth Epic. And as always, good night, good luck, and good rinse.